four five six zeros and four three okay now I am done I'm gonna go out of that and I want to this is sent to the vendor you want like of course like it would take like a day or two for you to display to receive the inventory but we are assuming that we already received it so I want to enter a goods receipt I'm gonna close these so that I can see better and goods receipt is an inventory management um, feature it is a goods movement because you're receiving goods so I'm gonna click on goods receipt and I've already entered the purchase order so I'll choose for purchase order and goods receipt for purchase order now I, I'm asked to enter my purchase order you cannot just receive any kind of goods they have to match the the actual items that you entered on the purchase order so we'll have four five six zeros and I actually forgot <laughs> the purchase order number I can't remember what it was probably it was 43 or something let's see it could be 48 it's not recognizing it says it does not exist so we'll try 43 should have written it down yeah so this is it. it it was 43 and I know that this is mine because the company is 170 and that's my number here so I want to say that I've received the click pen so you will ok while you ok the pen box and hit enter and you ok so I've ok one here and, and one down there sometimes you will see one not being highlighted all you have to do is either click the green button enter or uh, click the right button at the bottom the next item so that it, uh, you would uh, click the item OK which means that you have received the item I'm going to execute it now. Okay. And I'm going to post it to the system. Everything is fine. I get another uh, document number, and this time it's five and seven zeros, I think. Yeah. And um, six, six. This time I'm going to write it down. Okay, now I'm ready to um, enter the invoice. Usually if I get the goods receipt, I also get an invoice. So. And this is under material management again, it's logistics invoice verification. And you want to enter an invoice. Your com my company code is C170. Remember yours is C1 and then the last two digits. Your invoice date is today. You want to enter the uh, purchase order number four five one two three four five six and four three
So the amount that I'm getting is 202.50. And that's for an invoice uh, one seventy. One two three is for everyone, and then dash one seventy is one is uh, again common for everyone, and then seventy is the last two digits of your um, of your uh, SAP number. So my. Uh, now I'm going to simulate to make sure everything looks fine. My balance is zero. So I'm going to post it. And I get, a, again, a document number. And you should be capturing these document numbers in uh, Word. So write down the document number for goods re for the invoice. Uh, as 510-56-00806. Now I want to post payment to vendor. I, I want to uh, record an outgoing payment. So anything that has to deal with money will be under accounting. So I'm going to close the logistics altogether. Go to the accounting and it is financial accounting. It's not managerial. Managerial deals with cost internally allocation of cost internally and things like that. The financial accounting deals with payment of money to vendors or getting receiving money from customers and so on. So because I owe money to the vendor, I'm going to re uh, register it under accounts payable. And it is, I'm trying to uh, enter uh, a payment. And actually, they made a mistake in, in, in the manual. You don't have to go into document entry. You can go right away. They've actually moved uh, outgoing payment outside. See, I've just seen it. Let me see. There it is. Your document date, so you want to make a payment today. Then you want to use a specific account in a bank, and that's it all starts with 100, and then one, and the last two digits of my user ID. And the amount I'm going to pay is 202.50. And it is payment for goods received. And you need, you, this is electronic payment, so you uh, need to choose the account for the particular vendor. Your search, my search term is 170, yours is 1, and here is my vendor. I'm going to say process open payments items, which means process uh, for any open, any open items, meaning things that have not been paid yet. So here is an invoice that is being displayed.
So that's the one that I want to pay. I'm going to uh, save. And now the payment is being posted. I want to make sure that my, my balance is zero for that particular vendor. So I'll go back. And um, click on account display. And this is your vendor account 100. Uh, it already because we have been using that vendor, that's the one that's being pulled up. But you can always search, and this is the vendor that we bought from. My company code is already entered, and I want to select all items. And then execute. So I see that my balance I was um, I received goods and was the vendor was credited for 202 and then we paid the payment and it was debited for the same amount so now the balance is zero You double click on that invoice you see uh, the actual details about it that you have received it for 202 you can go and look at the general ledger and you can see that um, the details of that invoice that uh, you bought two items 125 and 77.50 or goods receipt. Now if we go back and look at the vendor payment, we know that he the vendor was paid $202 on the 24th. So again, I can go to the general ledger. I see that um, we have actually deposited two hundred and two dollars and fifty cents uh, to that vendor paid out of the bank account. Now this is the first part of the exercise. 